if you are a fashion brand or if you sell clothes, I'm going to show you how to use zero dollars to generate AI models to wear your beautiful clothes. This is also really good for social media so you can have lots of content to post. Nice. Now let's dive right in. We are going to use a new AI tool I just discovered. Now the AI tool we are going to use today is called VModel AI. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. So don't worry about that. Now this is how VModel looks like. It's similar to Outfit Changer, but you can get so much more done for free. When you go to VModel AI, just click on try it now. And then you'd have to sign in to your account, create a login and all that. Now there are so many different options of things you can do with V model. You can swap the model background, give it a new background. You can have, you can generate from a mannequin to a real model. You can work on wigs and then the try on effect, AI commercial photography. There's a bunch of things you can do with it. Now what we are interested in the most is this. We want to generate try on effects. So this is really, really similar to outfit changer. There's a panel over here where you upload a model. Now you can use any model you want. You can use the sample model as well. That would work fine. And then here's a cool part. You choose which part of the outfit you want to change. If you come right here to the box underneath here, there's upper body, there's lower body. So upper body is like blouses, tops, jackets, and stuff like that. Lower body is more like pants, jeans, shorts, bottoms, and dresses, well, self-explanatory, short dresses, long dresses, etc. So now you can choose. And then the cool part is you can upload the image of the item. And I'm talking just put, put the item on a hanger and take a picture of it. Or put it on like a table and take a picture of it. Just make sure that the lighting is good so it's clear. We are going to work on this. We are going to try it obviously to see how it works. I'm not sure I want to use this model. Let's try uploading our own model. So we are going to go right here and then click on that. It will open options to put our own model in there. So this is the model I want. So I'm going to upload this model. I'm going to go with an upper body because this is like halfway. So I'm going to go with an upper body. So I want to change her blouse. Okay. So I'm going to choose this red t-shirt over here. So it's going to be red t-shirts on the jeans. And then we click generate. It's going to take some time, typical AI style. And, um, we're going to see how it looks. Okay. This is how it looks. Okay. Let me just zoom right in. And this is so cool. I mean, this is the t-shirt. Love it. Love it. So imagine assuming you're selling this t-shirt, this is how it's going to look. You can just download into your device. If you want to go in and make changes, let's try that. Let's make the t-shirt a little more fitted. So red, tight, fitted t-shirt. Oops, t-shirt. All right, so do you mean you want it to be a more, a less boxy fit? We add the prompt and then we see the results we get. Now what I have noticed is if you put an image of a garment or clothes with a busy background, it may not work. So make sure the outfit is either on a plain background or is just like a white background or something. Okay, so this is the result. It's a little better in the sense that we can see a bit of curves on the side here. So yeah, that is different. And the neckline is much more round. So I'm going to download this as well. We can compare, compare and contrast later. Now what I want you to see is the quality of this. The quality is amazing. And this is not being upscaled. Okay. There's an option to upscale this image. If we click over here, we'd see there's an upscaler. 
So now this is going to take one point. There's also face restoration, but I think I want to upscale the whole thing by 200%. I'm okay to, to lose one credit for this. The quality is already amazing, but as you mean you want to use it for print, you have to upscale. This is good for online purposes, but an upscaled is so much better. See the quality. My goodness. I am loving this. All right. So this is the, uh, wow, this is the upscaled uh, version. I think I'm going to download this immediately. All right. Good. Let's go back to this tool over here. You have an option with um, V model where you can change the face of a model. If you have issues or if you're concerned about copyright, this is a good idea because if you're picking up images of models and then just changing their clothes, you're going to still have their faces. So you would like to do a face swap. So just go to model reface over here. So we're going to take the model that we generated. This one sound, looks good. And we are going to upload a target face. Now with this, you can use AI models that you've already generated in the past. If you want to use yourself as in your own photo, be my guest. I usually use AI models that I have used in the past. Okay. So I'm going to open and use this face. And then we're going to generate. It's going to take some time, typical AI style. And um, we'll have a new face on the model. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So here we have it. I'm going to just zoom in right here. You can see her face is completely different from her original face. That's over here. So I'm going to download here so now we have a new face model which is fantastic because we're able to do everything in this single ai tool we don't have to switch to other tools i think this is amazing and tell me what you think will you use v model another cool thing about v model is with when you buy credits it's a one-time thing no monthly subscriptions so you can just buy as many credits as you want. If you run out, you can buy some more, but you can use it for free first and see if it's something you like before you invest some money into it. What do you think about this tutorial? Will you use V model or do you still prefer to use outfit changer? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I love, I love to answer questions. Drop it in the comment section and I'll definitely answer it. Thanks for watching. Bye.